Brandon Gross. And we are the Game Changers. Designers, creatives alike. We are in a world that runs on value. Our next designs will be the shiniest. Our next animation will be the most buttery. Ladies and gentlemen, Game Changers, let the games begin. What's going on guys? Long time no see. Wow, one of the, <laughs> I forgot one of my sound things run. Guys, we're a little rusty. Good to see all of you guys here, whether you're on Instagram, YouTube, what have you. We are coming back again with very consistent live streams. I'm glad to see you. Fergie, the Adongo, Mr. Excellence was happening. We have also the plenty of people over on Instagram. If you guys are like, yo, the screen is a little too small, Brandon, even though you guys are watching on Instagram. Um, and to preface what we're going to be doing today, if you're like, what are we doing? What, what's happening? Because I know some of you guys on Instagram might not know what's happening. Um, we are doing our monthly UI challenge. We're starting that back up again, and I'm super excited to make it to the office to uh, start on that. So with that said, I'm happy you guys are joined on in. If you guys want to shift on over from Instagram over on to YouTube, you can go to my link in the bio where basically uh, the challenge today is to redesign SpaceX's website um, and try to solve some problems there. We're just doing a nice UI redesign and finding a problem here or there to uh, enhance in terms of the, how we're going to go about it. So with that said, I'm going to go to the office and uh, while I'm doing that, y'all join where you want to join. Glad to have you guys. But I, I feel rusty, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Like. I haven't been in this tunnel for the longest time. It's, there's, there's a lot happening, but anyways. How have you guys been? What's up? What's new? Let me know in the chat. You know, it's fine to be beautifully in my city. Once again, glad to have you guys here, but come on. Come on into the new office. Well, it's not new anymore. This is the old office, but I'm glad to have you guys here. Honestly, you know, I think it, it, it's been a while since the teleporter has even worked. So we're going to see how this <laughs> how this actually, you know, works out for us. Oh, Whew. okay. Teleported me in backwards this time. Swear. Okay. <laughs> Dongo says this is a cool setup. I'm not going to lie to you. The chair is a little heavy, man. The teleporter doesn't pick it up. Okay, so... Like I said, what we are doing today is, let's see. I'm like, what is the button I need to press? Grossbot has been on vacation. He hasn't been in here to help me out with what's going on. But like I said, we're redesigning SpaceX, or at least my rendition of the NIST. And if you guys are curious how exactly this challenge is gonna go down, things of that nature, uh, join our Discord. Also link in my bio if you're watching on Instagram. And I think it should also be down in the description if you guys are on YouTube. I really need to figure out like how to orchestrate like people knowing where the challenge is, how to submit things of that nature. But in Discord, just to give you guys a little bit of how this works, <laughs> uh, is uh, it's explained in our monthly challenges uh, very nicely. And there's also a video just for those who are like too long, didn't read. Um, I think that is also in our announcements. So if you guys are interested, there is a beautiful video regarding the rules, things of that nature. Check it out. We'll get more into the nitty gritty or this will be more streamlined. Uh, you know, you guys, your boy is unorganized. We're just here to make cool stuff and we'll learn along the way. That's, that's the nature of things. So yes, excellence. The game changer city is open. Once again, <laughs> COVID stopped me from moving in, but I'm a make it my residence. Exactly. All right, let's. Yes, we're, we're all back into the residence of things. And I actually, you know what, let me do something because I can barely hear myself talk. The music is a little too strong right now. Let me do this. There we go. Yeah, I was like screaming, guys. I was like, ah! Okay. All right, let's move back in. But what have you guys been up to? I feel like it's been forever. We haven't done chill and chat for those of you guys who are a part of the Game Changers. All right, let's move back to our screen and uh, let's see. I actually, while you guys are letting me know in the chat how your day is, what's been going on, things of that nature, especially those of y'all who've been skipping out on the uh, <laughs> Game Changers chat, you know, we've been uh, soloing it out. Last week we actually had a pretty cool one. I think 
It was either last week or the week before where we had Fergie, Rattuja, and a couple other peeps. But um, yeah, that was really fun. But we're, we're going to be more consistent. Okay, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, this episode is brought to you by Adobe XD. Really had to mention that. This is who makes these episodes possible. And uh, yeah, check them out. If you haven't already, download their software. They have some awesome things, okay? It's my platform of choice. And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do today is uh, SpaceX website is pr we're going to redesign their homepage. Their homepage is really simple. And um, honestly, I, I was having, since this is the challenge, the homepage redesign, finding like one or two things to kind of tackle, I was like, hmm. It's actually kind of like, <laughs> it's such a simple website. I'm like, what can I do to like better the user experience of this? So we're actually going to have to do uh, quite a bit of thinking. Like, honestly, when I was doing this, I was like, what, what, what exactly, <laughs> what are we going to do here? I had no idea how to even approach this because it's, it's super simple. They literally seem to be very focused on their completed missions, um, their Starlink mission, and I have no CRS-23 mission. I don't even know what that is. Uh, the ability to rewatch that and also their Starship to land NASA astronauts on the moon. So I'm like, hmm, all right. What I did do before, though, I did take some sneaky peeks at uh, some other people's um, design work. I'm not going to do anything crazy today. I'm going to do some crazy mass. Uh, there was something that I really liked. But I think what we might do is because I really like the simplicity of this, I still want to keep some of the simplicity, but add just a little bit more information and... Uh, yeah, because I'm assuming, and I would love to know what you guys think in the chat. What would you do to redesign SpaceX, SpaceX's website, especially with how simple it is? Like if I click into here, even it's like a write-up. It's so super, super basic. Hey, what's going on, Dave? Ralph says, perhaps a nav redesign. I, I think so. I think nav redesign, but also I would love to even, like for example, Essentially, all that is within, um, that was too loud. Essentially, all that is within these, you know, little learn more sections are either um, the ability to rewatch um, the mission or whatever happened and just get a little bit more context. So, like, for example, this is really interesting where it says rewatch and then it brings you to another screen, which gives you more details. And then, uh, the ability to rewatch again. So we're just gonna we're gonna do bits and pieces and see what we feel. However, y'all know I like super sauce, super spiciness, and I <laughs> and I saw something today. You know, UX people will get on me. Fergie can get on me if you want. The designing for the sake of designing. Listen, I like to have walked away from whatever it is feeling special delicious like the cookie monster and today i saw this and i was like yo all right hold on let me see can i make this larger here we go i don't think i can make it any larger but this sort of like loading animation something like this y'all know i can't leave y'all today and just be like look i made a square no we're not gonna have that so we're gonna try to we're gonna try to play with some animation-esque thing here today but if you're excited about this don't forget to smash that like button and we will be on our way we're gonna honestly guys we're gonna be live for about hour an hour or two trying to one figure some things out and yeah so we're here to relax today's friday um we're gonna figure things out together and uh if you'd like to help and uh other than that just chilling see what we can do so with that said Yes, sauce G, bring that sauce. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so first off, I'm gonna kind of bring in some of my, y'all know how I do, some of my, and let me know if the music is too loud or if I'm too quiet. I just got a new chair per Fergie's recommendation because my back was like ready to throw in the towel and not so good. So just let me know if you guys need me to talk a little bit louder, um, things of that nature. And if the music is too loud, Tell me, because you know your boy's rusty. 
David says, I'm having PTSD flashbacks to Igor's stream after seeing that Mars animation. <laughs> we can do it, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is, we, we, we're prepared. All right, give me a second. I need to check over, uh, I need to check something. All right, we are good to go. Okay. By the way, guys, if you're over on Instagram and you're like, why can't I see anything, Brandon? Come jump over on YouTube, link in the bio. Okay. That was my, my last announcement. But David, what's been going on, man? How have you been? All right, I'm just taking my screenshots of the different types of, kind of like, what is the word? I don't know the word, guys. Like my, not thumbnails is not the correct term but like my frames, like what happens first, what happens second. I honestly wish I could, let me see if I can do this. Oh, it's a GIF, all right. I was hoping it was a movie so that I could uh, kind of just like pause it if I wanted to. All right, we just gonna have to be quick with these fingers with the screenshots, we just, <laughs> just gotta hit it. <laughs> Real quick, control, alt, S, please. Ooh, I miss, I miss it. all right, you know what? We're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to bear, deal with it, okay. Okay, so what happened, this is just for me. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of essentially building myself a little storyboard. So I have, it starts like this, it zooms in, kind of gets like that. We have the cover or like a transition and then we somehow start here and then end up here, all right. <laughs> yeah, dude, Igor is on another level, man. Uh, I think he's he was telling me he was coming out with some very interesting, um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but he's coming out with some, some sauce. Uh, he is, he is, he's got some family, family stuff. I'm not, I'm not going to spoil nothing. I don't know what he has out in the public, but family things are happening, but he's super excited to come back and uh, blow everybody's mind. All right, so we have Mars. What else? And guys, feel free if you have any thoughts of like, I don't know how to say it. Things that you are interested in for, you guys are here to contribute. We're here to relax and also figure some things out. Maybe you're designing along with me um, for your own uh, challenge. By the way, this challenge I think will run all the way through October since we are starting so late. Um, in this month. I really need to figure out a way so that each time we do a live stream, the rules of the challenge play again for everybody who's like watching new. Let me see. Someone is asking, how do I feel about a fundraiser? I don't know. <laughs> I fundraise nothing. Okay, uh, let me see. Mood boards, we can go SpaceX. All right, and I think there was something, so I saw this, I saw somebody, whose project is this? It's multiple owners. I don't know what it is, guys, but people in Russia, they know how to throw it down with design. So this person's design um, was pretty much along the same thought of what I thought for uh, SpaceX, where they kind of took the mission timeline and rather than just having like a beautiful f photo in the background, like they did at SpaceX and just like have rewatch, they kind of had a, hey, this was um, an upcoming mission, you know, some pictures, information, um, learn more, next mission, a little bit about it, and you know, uh, they can learn more, but just a tad bit more of information and um, imagery up front because uh, there's really, you know, behind the learn more button, there really isn't that much. It's just like, all right, rewatch. All right, boom, video, and then like two lines of text. Like, come on, short. <laughs> come on, let me long. Uh, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take some screenshots here. And again, if you guys, you guys know me, I'm all about the, all right, what is my goal? What is out there in existence that is pretty much in alignment with what I am trying to do? And essentially take that and kind of uh, 
you know, smash multiple puzzle pieces together to kind of get what I'm I'm going for. I was watching just one of Jesse Showalter's live streams this morning. Shout out to him. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> and he was kind of saying the same thing, and I was like, that's my brother right there, even though we don't talk as often as I would like. Um, <laughs> he has a family. Well, I have two cats. Um, Deb Deep says, I love your time. Much appreciated, my friend. Much love. Someone's asking, what is the challenge? So the challenge is, and I apologize, I know you guys are coming in um, at different times, but the challenge is to redesign the SpaceX website and to kind of solve at least one UX-ish problem with it. Um, and my assumption here, or at least that I would like to fix, is uh, how information is displayed. Like for example, okay, let me just explain the, the challenge. We have a month, we have the till the end of October to redesign the homepage of SpaceX. And you can submit your challenge or your submission, your design submission to our Discord, which again, if you're either on uh, YouTube or on Instagram, Instagram, just go to my link in the bio, my Discord will be there or our Discord. And if you're on YouTube, Discord is down in the description and you can also find how the challenge works in our new challenges section, as well as how the challenge works in particular um, from this video here. So this month's branded redesign challenge, there's a whole video on it. I'm trying to get better on how we can integrate those things so I don't have to keep explaining it. But if you join the Discord, you will have all the information out, I'll give it to you. Everyone wants the tie. Guys, I think, I was thinking about this morning. I was like, I feel like I need to somehow build a brand relationship with the, the company that develops this tie. All right, so we have our Mars bit. We have, there's a couple other things that I liked here. Mm, I feel like this one was a little extra. We're not dealing with illustrations today, but I thought this one was interesting. Let's see, let's go back to the home. All right, so we are pretty much mission focused the first part of the page. So, I wish I could pause this. You know what? Yo, okay, you know what? I might do something a little interesting. And you guys may or may not like it, but we'll, we'll play with it, we will play with it. I think I think I'm on to something. And you know what? We might even change the challenge to be like rather than a UX problem, because I know people are gonna be like, Brandon, you've just utterly destroyed the thing. Um But I really want to I'm gonna kinda try to push this experience too. I'm gonna try to see if we can up the UX, but also kind of, you know, bring it to the next level. with some creative design. All right, so let me go ahead and just, I'm gonna type out my goal and let me know, guys, cause it's been a while. I know the people on IG are squinting mad hard. <clears throat> but again, if you guys wanna come over to the big screen on YouTube, link in the bio. All right, so the goal here is to um, better, man, I don't even know why I write this. But, uh, cause it can take me like five hours to write a sentence. There we go. Just gonna have give more context missions of SpaceX on homepage. And to do that, I think what we might do is rather than, there might be some problems to this too, because I'm sure it's gonna be cool, but there's like, if we're really thinking UX, there might, in, in like site stuff, there might be some SEO uh, complications with what I'm gonna go into. Hello, Steambot. Wait, what, what happened? What happened to the stream? Oh, <laughs> I don't know how to turn that off, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, let me see. Maybe I can pull him off. I don't know. 
right, I pulled him off, but uh, hopefully, you know, it's all good. Mezzi you says, hi Brandon, maybe you can check Boring website for this thing. Ooh, Boring Company? Good idea. Oh, they kind of do the same. Who, uh, Elon's just like, <laughs> that must just be his thing. Put up, a, put up a website, have some blurbs, and put the learn, learn more button with some photos. That, that, that must be his go-to. Hey, what's going on, Yasser? What's happening? Long time, dude. All right, so let's see. So we're going to do give more context to the missions of SpaceX on the homepage. Um, I do want to keep the entire experience on the homepage. But there might be like some legitimate like SEO complications with that. But we'll see. We'll play around, guys. All right, so first what I want to do, let's go ahead and take me my screenshots of my SpaceX. And what's going on, XX Zuka? What's happening? When Fergie says, you'd think they are paying for hosting based on text with how little there is. Like, seriously. Oh, wait, Boeing? Oh, Boeing. Let me see. What does Boeing do? No, definitely not Boeing. No, nah, we about to we about to spice it, guys. We really about to like add. You'll see. We're gonna have like a, a mix between this feel and this feel. Watch. Okay. So I'm gonna have. So this is gonna be my SpaceX reference. Hey, Laura. What's going on? Chemicalist. What's happening? And I, not Laura. I always, with your username, I always have a challenge and I know who you are, but I'm like, Lor, Lorsuela. For, I just gotta, I gotta, I can't say the name. Don't hate me. Okay? So we, 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 we have to, we have to just, just realize that I am a flawed individual. Okay, it's it's hard out here, but I love you all. <laughs> okay, back. <laughs> but hello, glad to have you, Lorcella. I hope I hope that's that's how it's pronounced. Okay. And what we're gonna do here is let me just get a couple more reference photos. We have this one, two. Yes, yes, sir. We are being safe out here. I hope you are safe as well, my friend. All right. There's about three things. Sticky navigation. This really is like the old school Brandon Gross uh, live streams where it's just like Brandon talks for 25 minutes and then finally dives into the design. All right. Boom, boom, boom. And then we have our footer. <laughs> I, for real, Brian, I was just like, yo, <laughs> my soundboard got to be, you know, it's got to be right. It's got to, it's got to be in there to, you know, it's got to keep everybody on, on their feet. Okay. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and drag this by my screen and we're going to need to download the spring, not the springboard. Um, this probably is an SVG. I'm assuming it is. Yeah. At least they, they, they being smart on that. Please don't yell at me for not doing, uh, what am I supposed to be doing? Space X logo plus. Yo, what's happening? What pics are you using to snap photos? I am using the, I'm literally using clips. Um, it is on my screen. 
It's literally this. I can't spell, guys. Y'all know me. It's the snipping tool for PC. All I have to do is press con uh, Shift Alt S. I lied. Shift Command or Shift Windows S, and I can like literally snap anything. Good questions. I'm not sure if this is the actual SpaceX logo. They don't look right. Literally, it's from logo.wine. I don't know. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. We beggars won't be choosers. Save image as yes. All right, and we're just gonna pull that jaunt. Oh, it needs to be white. Uh, we're gonna pull that puppy in here, just like that. Um, we are going to duplicate it, and we're gonna pop this open, right click into edit in Photoshop. Hey, <laughs> going on, Dan. <laughs> Good to see nothing changes. I've missed watching the streams. Shh, at work, oh yes. I hope that answers your question. It's Abdul. All right, and we're just gonna change this to white. I think all I need to do here is just control and I for invert. I'm gonna save it, close that baby out, and now I have a white version here. And from here, I'm just gonna make this dark, pop this logo right in here. I really don't think that's the real logo, is it? Okay, it is. My brain had lied to me. I'm actually gonna um, edit this one more time. I wanna get rid of that excess. Hey, Sarav, what's poppin', my dog? What's happening? Good to see you, my friend. Fergie, I'm not gonna lie to you. This chair is amazing. Like, I don't, I had like an expensive chair before, but like, I don't understand why. Uh. It just like destroyed my back. Like this is actually nice. So, yeah, I was like, I am not gonna go to the doctor and get painkillers. I'm gonna do this on my own. In invest in a chair that actually strengthens my core. <laughs> hey, what's going on, David? How you doing, my friend? Glad to have you on the side of the Instagrams. We are, for those of you guys who may or may not just have popped in, we are working on redesigning the SpaceX as a concept, redesigning SpaceX's homepage. This is our uh, UI design challenge. If you're interested in joining along, um, you can join our Discord, link in the bio, and all the things will be there for you in order to understand what the challenge is and uh, follow along. But we're here, obviously, today's a Friday, we're hanging out, we're chilling. Um, so yeah, if you have any suggestions on what we should do, I'm literally just doing my version of the challenge um, and sweating while you guys watch. So, <laughs> it's literally, uh, what's happening there? And Fergie, yes, I got the, I had got a ghetto version of the Secret Labs. So my brother had a chair that he no longer uses and I was like, yo, let me get it. <laughs> Essentially. Um, and uh, yeah. And it does like this little rock forward so you're not like smashing your spine. And I absolutely love it. All right, so I'm gonna try to see what font SpaceX is using. Um, and they are, let's see. Let's try to find the font here. We got Arial, Verdana. I guess that's what they're using. Lame. <laughs> Literally, Elon Musk is like, just throw up a website. Just all default stuff. Go. <laughs> all right, we'll rock with Ariel since that's what they're rocking with. And we are going to do repeat grid. We're just going to pull this out. A couple here. And we are going to change. I'm gonna ungroup these and I'm just gonna change the names. What do we have here? We have Falcon Heavy, Dragon. Heavy, Heavy. All right, and I'm also going to, let's see. I'm gonna group these. I am going to have my padding. All right, get the rest of the names, Dragon. I really wonder, like, what is the branding meetings require? 
what, like what are the what do these sound like? What are we going to name the next uh, starship? The next excursion. Human space flight rideshare. I cannot spell for my life. I already forgot what the word was. Oh, er, er, XD, please get it together. Why can't I? My goodness. Okay. Starship, human space flight. And for some reason, um, my padding did not stick. So I'm going to ungroup all that. I am going to please space out equivalently or not. I'll fix that later. I'm just gonna get all the, and then we have ride share. There we go. What happened, regular? Ariel Verdana lame Brandon. <laughs> That's literally what he did. He was like, all right. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is, mm -mm. like this is the most lame. I'm gonna send him an email and be like, listen. You out here making Teslas. But I bet that's why, um, what's we call it? <laughs> it's just bugging my face. Hey, but you gotta say, you know, they must put all of the resources literally into, uh, into making the, you know, the SpaceX's and stuff. So, hey, gotta give it, you gotta give it to them. All right, so it looks like it's not narrow. It's gotta be like bold or something, but it doesn't look about it. But we'll keep it at narrow. Um, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna get all the content in and then we are going to get into the fancy stuff. All right, so I'm gonna pull one of these down here cause that's always the, I think that's what happens with like drawing and stuff where like, <laughs> have you ever seen like a really good artist and then like you watch them like sketch something you're like, ooh, are you sure they're good? That's kind of, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, that looks like some straight doo-doo at the moment. Um, but then when you when they finally get to like the finished thing, you're like, oh, magnificent. You just sit there and you're like, it is delicious. All of this time I doubted their ability. And they stand here before me with delicious work. <laughs> That's kind of what, what goes down. So the dragon returns to earth? What in the world? I'm so done with these names. What should we, I'm gonna give this task to you guys. What should we rename these? Dragon return, I can't even spell, Lord have mercy. Do not have me on your copywriting team. Dafoon return to earth. Drag, drag on. There you go. All right, we're gonna bold that out. There's, there's something missing in my, uh, what's we call it? Oh, did someone say regular? Okay, yeah, David was right. Not narrow, it's regular out here. See, David's so smart. But why would regular be before narrow? That, that's kind of threw me off. And that doesn't look right either. Let me, let's check this. Let's do a, uh, I feel like they're lying to us about what type of, where did it go? There we go. Let me see what type of Verdana again. Do I have Verdana? Probably. What's going on, Lucas? Yes, so what we are doing here, if you guys are popping in like what's happening here, we are doing a challenge, monthly challenges that we're doing nowadays. If you guys wanted to go ahead and join, we are doing monthly UI UX challenges. Um, they are starting in our Discord and what we're doing this month starting today, all the way to the end of October, is we are trying to redesign space SpaceX's, SpaceX's homepage. We're gonna try to uh, figure out a way to uh, enhance the experience and also try some experimental things that, uh, you know, could be interesting. So 
at the moment, I'm just kind of just, I have their, uh, their nav and I'm trying to just get their fonts and stuff. And then we're going to take like a whole new approach to, um, what they got. I, I'm not down with these uh, fonts though. I'm very confused. It says that Arial Bold Verdana Sans Serif, but that does not, maybe it's a narrow or something? I'm at a loss. Oh, whatever this is. D Den Bold. I didn't even think that was a, a font. Watch this joint have to like oh I can just download it right here. <laughs> yes. Check the computed tab in the console. I don't even know what that means. Alright, so let's see. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop some of these open. Yes. Right, we're just gonna install all of them. So this is the font that apparently they are using. What's going on, E Hill? Or Ehem. Eham? What's going on, my friend? Alright, let's see. Boom boom. We've installed all these. Alright, I'm gonna install these real quick. But that's one thing that I really like to do is anytime like especially I'm redesigning something, just inspecting the website, just seeing what all of their fonts are. And hopefully I don't have to restart um, XD. I'm pretty sh sure that I'm going to have to to grab or make sure that... Oh, here it is. Sweet. D-Din. Do the same thing here. Yep. And uh, I think same thing here. There you go. That's much better. All right. We're going to go from regular. All right. That is... It's probably, yeah, there we go, bold, might not be it. Eh, good enough. And we're gonna pull this in a little bit and we're gonna scale this down. Okay, and I'm gonna get the button and then we can start. I'm just gonna pull this, get the button and then we're gonna start customizing some things. I just want the general uh, aesthetic of what they started with down so that I can have a boilerplate of what they started with and then I can just like jump off that rail and design what I want. Wait, hold on. Martin says hit the computed tab instead of styles. What is the computed tab? Oh! Lord, that is so much better. There we go. I didn't even know that was there. That's so much cleaner. We learning new things every day from the man himself, Sir Dave. Also, guys, if you haven't checked out Dave's stuff, you haven't if you do not follow him on Instagram and or YouTube, he's got a really awesome series right now. Uh, related to Shopify or e-commerce, so I highly recommend that you guys check that out because it is pretty awesome. He's got a lot to, he just taught me right here. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so let's see, what is the size that this is? I'm gonna, is that 17? All right, we're gonna leave it at 20. And the button I think is pretty straightforward. It just says rewatch and we are using a rectangle. Pull out the fill, make the rectangle about two, and we're gonna steal this, and we're going to have, we're just gonna have learn more for right now, based on what I have planned for. We're gonna, boom, put that in the center, and I wanna thickenize there should be a thickenize, uh, what's to call it? Button, thickenize button. Okay, so I'm going to group, first off, left line all of this, allow, group my button, and as Fergie would do, probably name her layers about now, but we're not doing that, okay? <laughs> not right now. All right, so now let's start playing with this uh, concept where we had, where's my, 
So for those of you, I really want to incorporate two things here. Really want to incorporate uh, collections, SpaceX. No, my friend, this is Adobe XD. Figma does not live in this channel. <laughs> All Adobe XD, my friends. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to kind of put this animation as like the loading animation to SpaceX. And attach it to, instead of these being worlds, it moves into this sort of uh, experience and you have like a carousel of uh, the missions. So let's see if we can do that. Who is, okay, well Ben Marriott can be upset. <laughs> All right, let's play. So let's see, we're gonna have I'm gonna duplicate this very quickly because we're gonna do a little, like I said, we're gonna do a little bit of a, a different approach. Actually, we have, I'm gonna bring this here because I already have reference. So what we're gonna do from here, I'm actually gonna ungroup this. Gonna have completed mission. We're gonna center this. We're gonna center this copy here. We'll make it a little bit bigger. We have our learn more. And let's see. I wonder what the uh, return to earth thing looks like. So let's see, let's go to SpaceX real quick. and go to rewatch for a second. And I'm like, what can, ooh. Ooh, yes! Let's grab this. I don't know what this is, but we stealing it. All right, I'm pretty sure it's a video. Or a gif of some kind, I have no idea. Let's see what we can find. David, how do I get this? Wow, Fergie, you just, you just throw me out like that? That's how it is? That's how we do? All right, so it must be in the background, background video, yes. Here we go. Let's see if we can actually grab these. All right, cool. So let's see, I'm gonna save, can I save this video? There's a lot of interesting things that we could do here. We literally could turn this into like a PNG sequence and literally have it animate in Adobe XD. But for the sake of right now, um, we are going to take screenshots and kind of play with this. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull that into all right, so that's our little dragon ship thing. <clears throat> what else can we grab? Lucas says, will you save this live for later? Yes, this live will be on YouTube. And uh, yeah, so if you guys are interested in both the challenge and or watching the rest of this live, it will be on YouTube. And you can also check out the recording and just engage with our audience through Discord, link in the bio if you guys are watching through the Instagram. Um, okay, so I have this. David, I have no idea why you said open the P tag. What is that? Let me see. All right, so we have that. I actually might be able to just like grab. There we go. So I don't have to Photoshop that mess. Okay, so I am going to do, let's see. We we'll put this here. We we'll push it all the way to the back, and I'm thinking, what could we do? Hmm. Let's see. Let's go back to this. I wonder how they they have them move. Because it doesn't look like they have any arrows. Let's 
So that's interesting. Maybe when they scroll, that happens. So maybe we can make that happen. I'm just trying to think through the experience and also kind of what to showcase. I do want to kind of fill in some of the blank canvas here. So let's go to Unsplash real quick. Lorena, thank you so much. Let's see. Yes, interplanetary carousel. All right, let's see. All right, I have no idea. <laughs> Guys, I apologize for those who are in the chat and there's uh, spamming happening. Restream doesn't retract messages. What does that mean? All right, so I'm gonna do stars. And I'm gonna see if I can get like a nice little starry night type thing real quick. Mm, not stock, I don't want no stock. Hmm. All right, we will play with, play with this. And this is Max McKinnon's Alrighty. We'll play with this in the back. We'll send it to the back, just like that. And I am gonna mess with this a little bit. Um, so what I would like to do, let's see, what happens if we do How do we want to do this? Because we have our learn more, right? We have this. This can be a little bit higher up. What do you guys think? How, how should we, because I think it would be really cool. Let's see, maybe we can. I don't know, that look really phallic. And of course, we're going to edit this in Photoshop, but I'm just trying to think. How would we have if we want to have some sort of experience like this. How would we, if they're not perfect circles, how would we have the different types of, like what would be over here and what would be over here for the different missions? It's gotta, I gotta think through that. Until I know, I'm gonna kind of spend some time on some things that really don't take thinking. So we're gonna kind of uh, mess around with the navigation here. And the navigation will probably need to change too. Annika, what's going on? Ellen says, put it on top. Ooh. Good idea, let's see. You out here working, guy. Who, who, who gave that? Ellen, thank you very much, that is I think that's a good idea. Let's see. So we're gonna shrink this down a little bit. And maybe, all right, I'm gonna ungroup this because there is some, there's some stuff going on and it doesn't look centered. It just looks, all right, there we go. I knew something was off. Maybe we can, can we? All right, and let me undo this. Let me undo. Nope. I always forget which is which, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do normal real quick. Where is normal? All right, and let me see. How do we do that? This is gonna be, this is gonna be a El Problemo. We'll have to think through that. But for right now, let me just go ahead and put this here. Let me move this stuff. All right, but let's think through, because it, it might not be the best how I'm thinking about this. Because I would love to be able to do something like this, but at the same time, that works because it's spherical. What we're dealing with is not so much spherical.
trying to think. Starlink, let's see. Let me see if we can find some images of Starlink. Yo, what is going on in Instagram at the moment? What, what is happening here? Y'all are very interesting in 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 the comments. Okay, all right, let's see what we got. Image. Uh, I mean, honestly, I guess this is the same footage, but I'm like, that's so boring. Hmm. All right, well, let's try. We're gonna, we're gonna attempt something. It's probably not gonna be as cool as I had planned. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this. All right, so I'm just grabbing imagery for the different missions or their different, yeah, different missions, different things. So they have the dragon, Starlink, and then whatever this is. What is this? On Sunday, dunna. No idea, okay. I wonder, oh, here we go. I'm just gonna copy this and pull that in here. It's literally like the same footage almost of the Starlink thing though. It's just kind of boring. One, two, well. Yeah, see, okay, this is a little bit better. We're gonna try to grab this one. No, what I meant to do. Why is it opening the, the wrong stuff? All right, inspect, let's go here. Uh, probably not gonna be able to download that. Which kind of stinks. But I wonder. Actually, Dave, I would love to know how you would go about this because I'm about to do something that's probably like the dumbest way. But we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead I'm just gonna screenshot it, I'm gonna pull it in here and we're gonna mess around with it in Photoshop in a moment. Okay, so duplicate this, edit in Photoshop. Yeah, we're gonna mask the rocket, but I don't, I don't know what I wanna do with it. All right, so I'm going to Select and mask. Nope, select subject, please. All right, and there's still a little shy, so. All right, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna grab a little bit in here, or not. Just refining the mask a little bit. Hitting OK. I'm gonna smack a mask on this. It's not a pretty mask, but it will do for now. I'm gonna save that for real quick. Mm, that's not cute at all. Let's see, what can we do? I'm gonna take this background image. I'm gonna pull it in here real quick. And I am going to, let's play. I'm gonna do some color adjustments. Hue and saturation, layers. I'm gonna attach it to the photo. Hmm. I 
That's interesting. I always forget which. Maybe it's color balance. There we go. I am going to. I think what I want to do is I want to still put this on top of the color balance on top of the the rocket ship so it fits. How did you select the subject so fast in Photoshop? So I did, um, I'll show you in a second. It's actually pretty easy. I'm gonna, I'm, let me just find the correct tone I wanna rock with. There we go. All right, so now I can save that. All right, so how I selected this really quickly is I'll just duplicate it again and I'll show you. I went and I selected kind of what I roughly wanted with the marquee tool. I went to select and mask. And there's a new, was well, it was new last year, where there's select subject right here. And basically it will select kind of in the area of uh, what you've selected. And there we go. Ta-da! Hey, what's going on, Anya? Hey, what's going on, Demi? How you doing? There is some there's some interesting people on Instagram today. All right, so I have saved this. It's a little bit more blue, which is nice. But I think uh, I think we're still gonna have it down here, even though it's a uh, it's a little odd to have like that. That's like really odd. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to, to do it the way that we wanted. Yeah. Oddness, all right, we'll figure it out later. We'll do it as we go. But, um. Let us, let's just keep moving on. We'll, we'll get it as, as we go. I'm gonna duplicate this, edit in Photoshop. And we are going to, wait, why is this the same thing? Edit in Photoshop, please. Oh, that's because I, let me cancel that. There we go. Let's see, can I do the same thing with this? I believe so. How do we want to do it though? Okay. I think I'm only going to do two projects. So then I might not be super what I was planning for today. All right, that's kind of selected. I'm going to try to do it best here. How is Brandon so quiet and serious? I'm trying to figure out like, <laughs> how do I want to go about this uh, this thing? Because I was like, this is not going to be, this is not what I anticipated. You guys know I just show up and I'm like, all right, we're going to try to figure this thing out. But So I'm trying to think while also problem solve. All right, so let me, but Annika, what's up? How is your week? Let's see. I think I'm just gonna hit okay with this and I'm going to, I'm gonna duplicate this. Oh, not, not that, I'm going to, there we go. I'm gonna mask that, turn that off and I'm gonna have to clean the mask in here. So I'm just gonna use my brush. Hey, what's going on, Aaron? What's poppin'? 
It's glad to see, I'm glad to see you here as well, dude. Jay Hill, do I ever use Figma? My friend, I do not. I really want to scream when I'm in Figma. Um, you know, a lot of people are interested in utilizing it. Uh, however, you know, when it comes to anything outside of, I do a lot more than just UX and I do, you know, I really enjoy having flexibility in the tools that I'm working with. And the Adobe Suite just has everything, um, you know, that I use. Like for example, the connectivity between Adobe XD and Photoshop. A lot of UX designers, they don't, or the majority. Actually, I don't have statistics on this, but what I see is a lot of designers, they don't, especially if they're working at a corporation, they are not responsible for their own assets. So what you'll see is um, some designers who do create their own assets, uh, you know, they kind of stick, they're, they're in the Photoshop world, so they stick within the uh, Adobe XD landscape. But when you're with Figma, like you still have to pay <laughs> your Photoshop subscription and uh, other things and you kind of have to like figure out how you're going to circumnavigate that whole situation. All right, let me see. All right, I'm gonna clean this mess up real quick. I'm gonna give me some straight edge, you know what I'm saying? Delete that, boom. I'm gonna bring this back in. Like that, oop, didn't mean to do that, there we go. Save, boom, and I'm going to, I'm like, where should I put this? Like, over here? And then, uh, you know what, I'm, let's, let's do it. <laughs> I have no idea how I wanna, uh, how I wanna do it, we'll figure it out. And then, Starlink, I want a non, maybe what I should do, let's go to Starlink's website because I know they have like an actual product. Yeah, see, I, I prefer to stay inside of the uh, Adobe XD ecosystem too, man, because there's just, if you're outside of it, if you only do UX, sure, UI and UX, not even UI, if you're just in UX, sure. Go into, um, you know, be happy with uh, the F word, right, but, if you do a lot more, especially when you're, you're like a freelancer, you know what I'm saying? Um, Adobe XD is where it's at because not you're not just buying Adobe XD, you're purchasing into an ecosystem, which is, for me, more important. All right, I'm going to attempt to... I'm gonna do one more thing, I wonder. I'm gonna duplicate this one more time. I'm going to give it some ground. Oops. You know what I want, guys? I want some cake. I really do. Like, I, you know, oh, you know what? Actually, for those of you guys who are in the Game Changers, I literally was about to send you guys, but I was, you know, I was like, all right, never mind, I'm not gonna do it. I really wanted to send you guys uh, me eating another two gallons, of, or okay, not two gallons, another gallon of ice cream in the past. Uh, it was so good though. It was so good. Okay, what's going on, Cam? With the made up, bruh, we ain't out here with the made up stats, man. It's that I'm using my eyeballs, all right? I just tend to see uh, more, what's gonna call it? A lot of the, uh, you know, UX designers today seems like they're used to just putting the puzzle together and doing the research versus like making their own asset. And my observation, there we go. That's what I should, I should mention. My observation is the following. <laughs> 
Oh, Annika, I wanted to send you guys the, the photo because I was like, I was going to send it and be like, it strikes again. The, my, uh, my hunger. All right, so I think we're going to roll with that. And I also am going to pull this down a little bit. And uh, how do I want this? I'm going to duplicate this again. Pull this down. Put it behind. Maybe what I can do here is... All right, I'm going to take this. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to leave everything else. I'm going to take this. I'm going to pull this sucker all the way down. It's going to look real ugly, but guys, just, just, just bear with me, okay? All will be revealed in time. Titan says, can't wait to time travel on a regular basis. <laughs> you and me. Well, you know what? I'll stay on the ground. Y'all can tell me how it is. No thanks. All right. So I'm just trying to add some extra ground here because what we're going to try to do here is going to be a little interesting. And you know what? It's not going to look the, the sexiest. Just bear with me. All right, um, what we're going to do is maybe I'll pull this up and then let me get, I'm looking for, I'm trying to make a particular effect. Do you, let's see. I can't imagine being able to do 100% of the web designer needs to do inside of, yeah, exactly. I don't know. Some people really like that workflow where they have to go through like GIMP, Figma, and all that stuff, and it's just like, oh god, like what is life? But those are the people, I guess, where they really just, from what I've heard and what I've kind of seen, is it's people really, you know, not wanting to spend money or something. They, you know, the fr the free, the free low sort of uh, experience that they're trying to go for. All right, so I want to see if I can make like a, this is just a test guys, honestly. I'm not sure if this is going to work out, but we're going to try to do some, uh, some interesting things, okay? I want to make it so this edge isn't like 100% like, uh, what is the word? I want it to make it look like it's an overarching, like a little mo little mountain thing. And I'm just using, I don't even know what this thing is called. What is this? It's like the, y'all know what it is. <laughs> what is this? The smudge tool? All right, because what I want to have happen is if I save this I want it in here now I'm trying to think I don't want these let's see if we can play with this all right so I'm gonna group this duplicate it oh wait merge this and I'm gonna kind of do like a little circle there, circle here. Mm. There we go. And let's see. Brush. This is this is the point where like diving uh what's we call it? Trying to Oops, didn't mean to do that. F 
think and talk because I'm like, is this the right solution that we want to, is this how we want to, you know, go about what we're trying to build? It's, get, it's getting a little, little mushy. All right, so we got that. And I think I'm going to duplicate this one more time. I'm going to merge this. Apply layer mask and go back to my little thing here. I just kind of non-uniform the bottom portion. Is it going to be worth with this effect? I have no idea, guys. I have no idea. All right, we're going to save that. We're going to leave it there. It looks like ass. Okay. <laughs> we're going to undo all that. Leave the rocket. All right. Spent 25 minutes doing nothing. Okay. And um, I'm going to just duplicate this just because. I'm going to go here. I'm going to edit this in Photoshop. And we're going to kind of do the same thing as before. I'm going to take this. Select and mask. Select object. Boom. All right, got it. Pretty much the most part, we're going to take the base minus the city out here. Boom, boom. Exactly. Got to spend money to make money, my friend. All right, so I think this is fine. However, what I would like to do, and we'll just, we'll duplicate this. We'll leave that. Oh, that looks like. <laughs> All right, let's fix that up. That oh no. Control Z. Let me fix that up real quick. Oh. All right, I don't know if that is fixed, but uh, we're just gonna we're gonna leave that there. There has to be a better way of doing this, guys. I don't like I don't like this at all. I'm like I wish there was another let's go back here. Like I honestly wish that there was a, another ship that I could use. Kind of do this. Oh, you know what? I think we can. What if we did so human space flight? All right. So maybe we can do that. So on their homepage, that they they have the um, man. Okay. So we have the Earth orbit, the moon. Man, we should have done this page. But maybe, maybe we can do some things. Oh, what's going on, Danny? To the moon! <laughs> what's poppin', dude? We're trying to uh, just make like a concept a read, uh, uh, SpaceX redesign for the homepage, just so, something for fun. And we are we are running through some challenges because I'm like, they don't have the best stuff on their homepage. It's actually, it's, it's actually kind of confusing. These are their most recent uh, missions, but it's like, mm, is that really what we want to do? Is that what we want to showcase? And I'm also like, is there a cooler way kind of showcase that and uh, I don't know because what I would love to do is honestly forget the uh, the crafts and go into let's see human space flight and have like the moon literally I'm just a screenshot this real quick. Uh, 
and have the moon like on the left and right. But I don't know. We'll play with it. <laughs> I'm gonna break my own rules real quick, okay guys? Cause I have no, there's so many mission things on SpaceX. We're kind of gonna redefine what the homepage is for. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some nice. Moon PNGs. So I think we'll grab, we'll grab this one. Hopefully, what's the size of the, oh, Lord. It's pretty small. Well, we'll rock with this one. Let's see, when I paste it in here, what's that look like? Oh, it's a lie. <laughs> it's one of them fake PNGs. All right, let's see here. Downloads. Ah, all right. I guess we're gonna have to deal with it. Open in Photoshop, and we're just gonna make sure. Boom. Select and mask. Select subject. All right. I'm gonna hit OK. Google search images of ship. See, you know what? There we go, Diane. That's a smart way of thinking about it. But I don't. Uh... But I'm like, I'm not sure if the ships will 100% make sense is my worry. Cause it's like, I'm sure this is the same shuttle as this one. They're essentially just representing different, what they have on the homepage is representing different missions. So I'm like, okay, well if they wanna represent different missions, how about we do one completed, one of the recent completed um, uh, missions and uh, just have like how they have here Where is it? Right? They have, this is just in general human spaceflight. So they're talking about Earth orbit, space station, moon, Mars. And so um, maybe having the larger uh, versions of the, or the grander scale versions of their missions um, showcased on the website rather than just the rocket ships. So that's my that's my other that's my other attempt. Let me see. Disable this real quick. All right, I'm gonna enable, and I'm gonna bring some of this moon back. Hey, what's going on? GWD was popping. I am well. How about yourself? I am trying to figure out what is the best way to go about this, man. This, this is interesting things. All right, so we have the moon. We're gonna hit Mars. Let's see. That's a very interesting, I'm like which Mars would be best? That one, <laughs> there we go. Right on SpaceX homepage. All right, let's see. Hmm. Right, maybe we'll, uh, it's too small. What's the size of this one? We'll play with it, okay. So I'm just copy this. I'm going to pop this into XD. Edit. Save that. Actually gonna make it a little bit more saturated. There we go. Something in there. Save that. Make it about the same size as this moon. All right. But what do you guys think about what I am planning to do for the homepage. It's a little, it's a little different. I think we might change the plan altogether, but this is what happens when you do all this stuff live, especially when you, when you don't really have like 
a plan plan. It went from, okay, we're just gonna do like all the current missions. And I was like, uh, how about we just do like, there are other missions that kind of make sense. Let's look for a non-ass. Hey, what's going on, Ross? What's poppin', dude? How have you been, my dog? Let's see. I hope the week has been treating you very kindly. Mm, I don't know which to use. I'm like, can we just have a nice, a nice earth? Anya with the fire. All right, I think we're just, we're gonna pick. All right, that's not cute either. How are we gonna be out here with Google Earth with the most rotten The most rotten uh, 3D versions of Earth. All right, this is good enough. All right, swear. All right, we'll pop this in here. We're gonna take this to Photoshop. Whoops. Nope. Let's delete all that. Save that. Boom. Take this in here. Now there is one thing that I want to do, and it's making sure that all of these actually um, have, how do I say? They have good cohesiveness. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go to Photoshop, open new clipboard, paste this in here. And I am going to, actually, before I even do that, let me close this out. I'm going to take this background, copy, Photoshop, new, clipboard, paste that in there. And then individually, I'm going to paste my different earth, my different earths <laughs> in here. All right, let me see. Let me turn down tolerance real quick. Quick mask. Pull this black off. Yeah, boy. All right, there we go. Okay, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna just put them in their proper places. I'm going to slap a color balance on top of the whole thing. I'm gonna try to find Maybe I won't slap it on the entire thing. What I'll do is I'll slap it on, what is this? The moon first. And try to find a good spot for it to blend in with the background. So boom, there we go. I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna attach it to the earth. I'm gonna find a good spot where it blends in with the the background here. I'm going to try to attempt to find. There we go. I don't think that's a full. Let me go back in there. I think it was fine by itself, but we're going to keep we're going to keep messing around. Nope. There we go. All right, I, on, <laughs> Ross, I was about to be like flat earth theory. Uh, I was like, this is probably why we don't have any ability or any good renders out here. All right, 
so I'm going to try to make this Mars kind of fit into this background real quick. Bluing it up. All right, there we go. All right, cool. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to group. So this is Mars. This is Earth. And we have Moon. So I'm going to select all these, right click, and export as PNGs. I'm going to just save these to my downloads. And I can go to Adobe XD now, go to my downloads, and I have all of my, I have my, oh, snap. Let me go back here first, because we need the full earth. There we go. I'm going to take the full earth, export to PNG, right there, yes, replace, cool. All right, so what I'm going to do, I am in my, let's close this, we don't need that. And we're just going to start replacing things. So earth, boom, moon, boom, and I'm just pulling them on top. I got my Mars to Dow. appropriate size there we go and they fit a lot better into the color scheme of things than they did before now I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller but while I'm doing all this what are, what are the plans with everybody for this Friday next week when we go ahead and do this we're actually going to be taking what we designed today and trying to uh, build it in Editor X. We're going to make this baby and bring it to life. So that's why we're kind of, these are like long sessions so you guys can see how I go about my thinking process, how I come up with ideas, things of that nature. And uh, yeah. And who in the chat is actually in the, what's the call? Who is doing this challenge? Hey, what's going on, Zay? Thank you so much. I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate the love. All right, I'm going to send this to the back. Jcraft ordering dominoes. That's my current priority, man. First off, what's going on, Jay? Second of all, I too could do with some pizza. Um, I, that, I think that might be a priority uh, later this evening as well. I'm gonna make this dark real quick. What kind of pizza? Is that Domino's? Yeah, that's that's going to be a move of some kind of mine tonight. All right, I'm gonna take this blur. Is that, oh no, blur the object. There we go, I'm gonna blur it crazily. I'm gonna turn the opacity down. I just want a nice little separation between the words and the background here. There we go. And now, let's see, what can we do? All right, so these are gonna be very small and off to the side. Just like this. Let me get the size. All right, sizing looks good. It's almost Saturday in Russia. It is, what's so much, <laughs> that weak little, <laughs> Uh, it is almost Saturday here. We have, what time is it? It is 4.31. So is it like nighttime, nighttime over there? I'm gonna make this a little bit larger. I feel like this is a disgrace of an earth. I feel like the earth needs to be like more shiny, more delicious, more mm. But we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get there. Now with the SpaceX stuff, um, let's see. I think, I'm not entirely sure what the, uh, how do you say? I don't even know what I was trying to say. All right, so we got, <laughs> don't mind that. We have Mars over here. How do they do it? They got it pretty sizably. And I think I want to add a little bit more spice to this. We're going to add some space between it. And let's see if there's like a thin. Nah, that's condensed. Let's see what else we can find. We have the bold here. This is condensed. Okay. Guess not. 
All right, we'll, we'll play with this. So we got Mars there. I'm just gonna duplicate it holding Alt, and we have the moon. All right. I wish there was a way, maybe we can just reduce the opacity a little bit. And one thing I do wanna do is I wanna bring this back into, I'm gonna duplicate this. What, uh, Anya, what time is it over there? I'm gonna duplicate this one more time. Um, I am going to add, what do we wanna do? I'm like, do I wanna do, oh, we don't wanna change that. What if we did a hue and saturation? What if we up the saturation a bit? Actually, you know what, what I'm gonna do? Cause what I wanna do is I wanna make it kind of look, kind of how you have here where it's a nice little white thing back there. I wonder what if I did, what if I did this? What if I edit this in Photoshop? And I did control U, darkened it a little bit, saturation up, what happens? Save that. Looks a little bit nicer, but. And instead of this dragon return to earth, actually, we'll keep that. No, we'll keep that. I wonder if I can place this somewhere that's interesting. It's probably just gonna be really weird. We'll put it in the background somewhere. But we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Okay. Um, all right, so we have our the moon and we have our Mars. One thing I do want though, is I don't want them to just like stick out like they're currently doing. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste this inside here. And I'm actually gonna create an overlay. And what this is going to do is it's gonna be a layer. 1130, well listen, Anya, I have to say I am highly appreciative of you hanging out um, this Friday afternoon and it brings tears to my heart. Um, yeah, that you just, you know, spend time with us to, to hang out. So I assume, what did, what did your, your day comprise of? Oh, wait, hold up. Didn't realize that I had like full on. Let me delete that. New layer. I wanted some, uh, So I'm essentially just painting over this so it's like a little bit more believable. And you guys will see what I do when I bring this back into, actually, let me just delete this. Go back to brush. All right, so I'm gonna take this layer, I'm gonna call this overlay of planets. And I'm actually going to also, I'm gonna add another layer. I'm gonna press, let's see. I wonder if I can, so I'm trying to make that glow that we saw Oops, let me undo that. So let's take this. I'm gonna make a super, I'm gonna play with that. It's a nice little overlay on top of the earth here. And we'll mess with the, uh, the color in just a moment. Boom. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna go to filter, blue, let's see, 
blur, Gaussian blur. No, not letting the blur. Filter. Gaussian, or however you say it. I'm going to take it down just a little bit. Just like that. Play around with the darkness and lightness. Okay. All right, so now this is the color overlay. And I actually, you know what? I honestly could have done this in XD as well. However, um, how I would do this instead in XD is literally just create a circle and kind of do what I just did behind the, uh, behind the text here. <laughs> Anya, I'm happy to be creating live uh, two again, honestly. All right, so boom, take this border off. I would blur this instead of the background object blur, scale that. Kind of bring this here. Dominoes gives me like instant, you know what nowadays. <laughs> Instante. <laughs> it is uh, it is very strong, whatever they be putting in there nowadays. All right, I'm gonna make a little circle here. I'm gonna take this, uh... you know what? Let's do this. I think I can do this. All right, pen. We're going to pull this. I'm going to make a little triangle here. I've actually not tried this before, but we are going to we're going to learn together. All right. So, fill is going to be like that. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just double click. Boom, double click. Try to get something around that. <clears throat> I'm going to blur the object, scale that up, and I'm going to see if I can find the correct mode. Close. And I'm just going to edit it to, you know, Trying to see if I can, uh, is there a different color that we can use? Essentially, I was just using Photoshop to find like, what is that right color scheme? And then we can mess around with uh, within XD to really find what that nice balance is. I feel like this is it, but not necessarily. I feel like it's maybe a different color that we try. Maybe we scale up how far it shows. Let's see. Birdie, what's going on? Enjoy with deliciousness <laughs> when that domino goes down. It really do though. It, uh, like when I eat when I eat dominoes, it's not even me. My ass is like. <laughs> It'd be like that. All right, so I think we, we're going to play around with that. Um, all right, I feel good about this. I still don't think that's the right color, man. Maybe something in here, maybe bringing this up a little bit. It's tough. It is tough. All right. Yeah, this, the color still doesn't look right. Well, maybe it's just how intense it is. Maybe that's it. Maybe that, that looks better. 
And by the way, don't forget to save before your entire uh, work goes out the window. Now, what I want to do is I kind of also want to try, I do want to create a, another type of, you know, the reason and partially why I do these challenges as well is because it's, you know, super good for learning. Um, and what I want to do is I really like this, uh, this button that's going on right here. And I kind of want to replicate that. So I'm going to go to fill linear and I'm going to steal. This is my favorite song, guys. I'm sorry. Mm. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Ellen says, looks great. Much love. Ellen, are you new to uh, these challenges or have you watched this before? Are you in the game changes? All right, so this needs to go away. Didn't mean to make that. All right, this is gonna go up here. Push this to the bottom here. I'm gonna make a... a there we go. I'm gonna take that border off. And... See what we can do. There's like a little bit of a darkness. And a little bit of a lightness up here, like just a little bit. And there is, I'm gonna copy and paste this. I'm gonna blur. that. I'm going to put that here. I'm going to reduce the blur just by a little bit. Turn down the opacity. I probably did like the long version way of, uh, of doing that. Okay, I'm going to select both of these. Group it. Now I'm going to pull this over here. I'm going to see if this even fits with kind of what we're trying to do. Pull this out. Wait. Delete and pull this in. Excellent says glow is looking nice. It might need a radio gradient as the atmosphere thins away from the planet. Yeah. Oh, this one. Right, right, right. I don't know why I didn't think about that. That's smart. Is that the grading that you're talking about? Um, excellence? I don't know why I didn't think about that. Man, my man, that probably is not the best way to do this either, but uh, I don't know why I didn't think about the radial, and I don't know which one is going to be. All right, so this is the outside one. Turn it down. There we go. Much better, I think, possibly. And let me see, I'm just gonna copy this real quick and put it in here. I feel like this too is too light of a button. Uh, to to have. Yeah, that really doesn't look right. It do not look right. Yeah, send it back. <laughs> send it back. All right, we're going to pull our button back in. We're going to disqualify this button over here. Paste this back in. There we go. We're gonna come back in here. We're gonna drop these down to about 20 rather than, uh, or maybe we'll drop it down to 30 rather than 40.
There we go. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. That this looks much better. Thank you, Xmas. See, this is why it's a team effort. It's it stays a team effort. Okay, this rocket ship though. <laughs> What's happening over there? I'm gonna pull that out. And I'm gonna make this just normal so I can actually see that thing. Okay, so now we can get into the nitty gritty. I'm gonna paste this in there. Okay, I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. Okay, now what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna duplicate, I'm gonna start getting organized here a little bit. Something I do want to do is I want to see if I put over like an overlay, if that actually, like if I were to do something like this, this is a solid color and I do like a little color. No. Saturation, hue. Exclusion. Something to kind of tie the experience together, you know what I mean? Like, or at least the colors. So like, the colors here don't look necessarily uniform, the colors here look a little bit more uniform with that, uh, with this overlay over top. So let's just do dark blue overlay. You doing the get? Wait, wait, what's happening? Excellent says, I've been too invested in Bulletproof Coffee recently at Design the Fergie. Is the calm tea hitting? What is the, what is the G-H-E-E? -E? What is that? What's happening there? Oh, the butter hurt your stomach, Fergie? These two, these are the dark overlays of planets. All right, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try to get organized a little bit, guys. So I'm gonna get all of my navigation items together so I know where I'm at, <laughs> at least. There we go. I'm actually gonna lock this because I don't want to be able to move it. What is this? This is the earth highlight. And, and rather than saying the earth and the moon, I think what we need to have, I'll just turn this off for a second. What do they call it on their website? Essentially, it's like the moon is lunar missions. Let's we'll just call it lunar missions. And then we will go to Mars and beyond. All right, I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit better with this, guys. A little, 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 little better. Earth orbit. So these are essentially their big er uh what's it called? Their bigger missions, I guess. So we're gonna pull this up here. Maybe we'll pull these down here. Maybe we'll bring this up just a little bit higher. All right, so. All right, time to think, time to think, time to think.
Hey, what's going on, Whitney? Yo, what's happening, Reuben? Glad to, that you went in and uh, uh, stopped by. How's your Friday? All right, so we got that. All right, now how do we want to do this? So this is the direction we're going to go. I'm, I'm typically a really messy... All right, so I think this is the direction we're going to run into. I do want to bring this down just a little bit. Boom. And let's see. So when we... I'm trying to think. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to add... I'm going to add a little something. But what are you all talking about? What is ghee? Is that, is that like fake... Fake butter? We don't do fake butter out here, guys. We when we want to sh we want to shit. Okay. Um, we're gonna do background blur here, and we're gonna get a not a hiccup. We're gonna get a down arrow. <laughs> Maybe that's what we can do. Maybe can we do that? We're gonna do, maybe we do that. Maybe we hit this white and we're gonna do background blur. No. It don't work like that. It don't work like that, okay. So we're gonna leave that, we're gonna delete this. Um, we are then going to grab this. Make that is dark. Okay, we're gonna remove the border here. What is clarified butter? What does that even mean? Does it come out clear? Was <laughs> like what is this mystery behind the ghee? The the butter. Henry, what Henry? What's going on, man? You made it. Glad to see you, dude. It's been so long. You, actually, Henry, you know what we need to do? And this is, this is, we're gonna be reliant on you for this one, man. I really wanna do a redesign. I've never played Roblox. I don't know how many people in the chat are, are familiar, but I would really love to do like a Roblox uh, redesign or something. I don't know. I, I, I just feel a certain way about that. Okay, so we got SpaceX. Now what we're going to do, this is going to be very odd because um, I have no idea how to do this, but we're going to learn together, guys. We're, we're going to figure it out. So what we're going to try to attempt to do is first off, make this little rotation thing happen. But let's, let's, uh, let's think. Okay, so I need to look at that one more time. So the f next thing that happens, first let's, let's just do the rotation. So on the rotation, what's gonna happen is, let's think. Man, that rotation is going to be difficult because I didn't set it up the way it should be. But we're going to try. We're going to try. All right. So one of the things that we are going to attempt to do is I'm going to select this entire Earth. What kind of Roblox game do you have, Henry? I'm gonna group that. This. All right. So right now I'm just grouping all of the Mars and Earth stuff. What I'm planning to do, I have no idea if this is going to work. So I'm gonna just duplicate this before I mess up. I'm gonna 3D ify all of these elements. I'm gonna try to push this Earth to be. 
in the front of everything. I'm gonna push these to be in the back. Well, first off, what we need to do is we need to make this background image like the most back, like. But also scale it at the same time. Oops. All right, so we're just trying to get everything into a proper Z position. This is negative 200. Um, we're gonna do, do about like 100 Z. Uh, same thing with this, 100. Oh, not 100, negative 100. That's pretty cool, man. So what does, uh, I'm gonna scale these up a little bit. I'm actually gonna lock this. Mm, what can I do with 350? I have no idea what to do with that, dude. All right, I'm gonna just take these two. I'm gonna scale it this way and bring them back in. So what I'm hoping I can do with this is once I group all of these and I start rotating it like this, oh, it's no, it's no good. All right, so what I think what we're gonna have to do here is, going back here, the first thing that we need to do is this will go back here to the center after I name everything. Mars image. Moon image. Earth image. Nazali says the circle is not something underneath. It's not clear underneath the image. I don't know what image we're talking about, brother. But if you can let me know, I'm all ears. And uh, what I'm gonna do here instead, um, instead of Falcon 9, we have Falcon Heavy. Hmm. We'll figure out the navigation later, we'll leave that. Can we make this dark? No. Let me see. Okay. Well, we are going to put, where is this? We're gonna put this up top. Underneath the navigation, this is our title. And what we're gonna do, all right. So on our first rotation, this is going to go to, man, you know what I wanna do? Because this is, all right, we're just, we're just gonna do it. We're not gonna do everything today. We're just gonna pick Earth, and it's gonna drop there. So that's what we're gonna do. So do I need to do that on all of Boom. So this stuff will drop down, drop down. I think all this stuff will probably drop down. So I'm just gonna select all of it. Boom, zero opacity. This will come over here. This will pop up. Mm -hmm. Does XD support 3D models? Not necessarily. 
It will support other things soon, hopefully. Um, but you can simulate some things, but it's really, that's about it. All right, so we're gonna do that. This is actually gonna stay in the center. I'm gonna copy it though. This is gonna go up. Capacity is gonna go down. The sky is gonna move a little bit. I'm gonna take all these, whoops. Left align, make sure everything's over there. I can delete this, right, I think. I don't know why I keep going back and forth. I have photos of this. Let's bring this right here. All right, completed mission. We're gonna do, I'm gonna bring this over and we're gonna extend this. Down, get some lorem ipsum up in there. Henry, this is not also streaming to be hands. All right, cool, so we got all that. Blow. We're gonna do 20 times 1.2. I have no idea what that is. 24, all right, cool. Delete any excess. I forgot how hot it gets in this room when your boy be streaming and he's got all these clothes on. <laughs> that's, that's one thing. Uh, that I have forgotten. All right, let's see. I'm gonna pull this down. About B. Boom. Feel like we don't need all this text though. So maybe just right there. We're gonna pull an Elon, you know what I'm saying? Little text. I'm gonna try to center this with the earth. What platform is this? This is Adobe XD, my friends. Alan is asking, can you please tell me where you can Arrange a portfolio with animation. Uh, you can, Editor X is a nice animation platform. Um, you can also, you or not animation platform, it is a site builder that you can utilize for your, your websites. I'm gonna just bring this shadow here real quick. Just add, add some dimension and I do need to add this to this here, but I'm gonna zero the opacity there. All right, so we have the earth and then, okay, so we have that animation and all I'm gonna do is when I click a couple things, when I click this, I'm gonna go to prototype real quick, boom. I don't think we need this. I don't know what this would say. Maybe it's part, part of like a video or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, let's see. So what I'm planning on doing is if we click this, it goes here. What I do need to do is I need to add this though, boom. Bring it to the center, zero that out. Because whatever we do to one part, we need to do to another. Or at least when it comes to animating, so let's see. All right, let's start to look at this stuff. Prototyping, let's play. All right, we did not do auto animate. That would have sucked if it, you guys were just like, and ta-da, the, the basic transition. You guys are like, what did I come for? 
All right, we got snap. We're gonna do we're gonna do point six. We're gonna see what happens. All right, okay, that's semi basic. We're gonna increase about. We're gonna do like we'll do two seconds. Maybe we have go back. I have no idea. We have to figure out what this is. Okay. <laughs> St. James, thank you so much. And iCode, much appreciated. iCode, uh, this is Adobe XD, my friend. We do not use Figma out here. Um, I like this platform because it's a lot simpler to animate with. Um, Figma is kind of weird. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's kind of weird. Alright, and then we can have the, the go back is kind of weird, like from an experiential portion, like this, a UX standpoint. Um, however, And this coming out is a little awkward too, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this over just a little bit. There we go. And we're just doing one thing at a time, one thing at a time. So we have our basics. Um, we can make this earth spin a little bit when it animates up. So once you get like the stepping stones a little bit, then we can, uh, you know, start doing some more complex things. For example, maybe I want there to be like some sort of like idle animation where the, you know, the earth is hovering and the side, <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Uh, maybe, you know, the planets are spinning or something. Just a little bit. Yeah! Exactly. So you can make it go home. Um, you can make it do what you want. So, for example, this is just a little bit of... I'm going to do a little bit of a timed animation. What's going on, Greg? Thank you for joining us, my friend. Where are you clocking in from? All right, so we're gonna do a little timed animation instead. Boom, delay, we're gonna do zero. Um, I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna see what this looks like. So, I made a little bit of a time animation, so there's like a little bit of a loop here. And it doesn't look good, because you guys can see kind of how it's like snapping up and down. What I tend to like to do, snap is great for tap animations in my opinion, but when you want a smooth animation, um, typically what I do is none. So that it's like a consistent movement. And I just keep testing, so none doesn't look good. We're gonna try ease and out. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. So, it's a little too quick, so what I might do is I might speed this up. So I might take 2.5. And essentially all I've done is I've duplicated the artboard, right? This I started with this one, and I duplicated it, and all I did was move, I've rotated planet one, planet two, planet three. I know the moon is not a planet. And uh, essentially prototyped, so you see these lines here, I basically, took this, I dragged a arrow here to this artboard and said, hey, when in zero seconds, animate for 2.5 seconds in an ease in and out animation. And essentially I made a loop. So every 2.5 seconds, Adobe XD is going back and forth between these two artboards and we get this. And of course you can uh, make the animation a lot less, um, what's it called? 
more subtle, less subtle, uh, you name it. And so when we decide to click on our learn more button, boom, there we go. We had a little bit of a rotation. I'm just gonna exaggerate a little bit more. Ooh, my back is burning. All right, boom. We saw the earth move a little bit and we can go back. Boom, there we go. But I still don't feel complete. Like I, I really wanted to, like this is honestly, I'm not too happy about the design. Like in the slightest, because you know, I had, I feel like I had other plans. You know what I mean? Like I was really excited about bringing in, you know, uses of these, you know, these space rockets, things of that nature, and somehow integrating them into, uh, you know, the design. And of course, you know, there's only so much that I can do in like an hour, hour and a half. I would really have to like prepare, um, you know, to do some of these things. You know what would be really cool? Is if when we hit learn more, the spaceship like kind of takes off a little bit. Just like that. So <laughs> let's see what we can do. There's a lot of small things that we can we can do here. This might actually end up disappearing. Yeah, because it's not on the other. It's not on the other screen. So I'm gonna have it floating just a little bit. I'm gonna have it just go kind of like back and forth. And when we hit learn more, it kind of shoots off. <laughs> but of course, that's not super sexy, but hey, whatever. All right, let's see. Now, there is stuff that is missing. For example, we did take off our little dark blue overlay. I'm going to put that back on. And I'm going to put that over top of all of our screens here. I'm going to lock them. And delete this. Okay. And I feel like I should make this a little bit darker. We'll just do the full 100% opacity. All right, cool. So we have sort of that experience. We have the back and forth experience. We have that next page experience. And one of the things that I really honestly wanted to do, maybe we still will have some time to, to do it. I would really like to do a SpaceX loading screen. So let's try, let's try. Let's see where we can get. So I am going to, I'm gonna hide this. I'm gonna pull everything kind of. I'm gonna prototype this first. I'm gonna pull this down. Oops. Zero and pull this stuff off to the side. How's your day going, Greg? How did you, are you part of the Game Changers, man? I feel like this is, might be one of the first times uh, we have seen a few, my friend. All right, we're gonna pull this down here. Um, what do we wanna do with this? This is going to disappear. I think these we can have up. I'm gonna keep SpaceX, or I think we're gonna center that. I have no idea. Hold on, let me copy paste this. Let me center this real quick just to find the center. Right, 
Hopefully that's the center. I have no idea. <clears throat> All right. So we got SpaceX. I think we need to make it a little bit larger. And yeah, it's going to be interesting. All right, let's think, guys. Let us think. So we have the on screen. How do we want to do this? Woo! Early says, question, will this be on YouTube afterward? Yes, my friend, this is on YouTube right now. And uh, yes, you can. All right, let's figure out how we're going to do this. I'm going to go and here, I'm going to take, I'm going to copy this. First off, <clears throat> Let's scale this down a little bit here. And what I want to have happen, I'm gonna turn this back up. Or actually turn it off. All right, SpaceX, what are we gonna do? We need to open this in Photoshop. First off, I'm gonna take a, I'm just put the black background back there. Now, what do we wanna do? I'm gonna select this. I'm going to do Can I stroke this? Here we go, stroke, we're gonna do one, we're gonna do, we're gonna do center. Boom, okay, okay. Hopefully that works. So we're gonna save that. So now we have our outline of SpaceX. We can match this. I wonder what the actual size is. So I can just 19, oops, boom, there you go. Just match that up. And I'm gonna take, there we go. I'm just gonna turn the opacity down. Whew, this is a long one, guys. Yo, what's happening, guys? Jira, what's happening? B to the moon, what's popping, my friend? How are you doing? By the way, I have to say, B, I love your freaking, uh, your 3D work, man. It's super crazy. I keep smiling in my ear, but keep f falling out. All right, let's see. So guys, I know a lot of you have just like popped in and been like, what's happening right now? Uh, we are trying to do like a concept redesign for SpaceX, just for fun. Nothing too crazy, nothing too sars, um, but yeah. I'm gonna undo all of this. And I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make this a little bit thicker. Gonna, uh, where's the stroke? Stroke, we're gonna do, maybe we'll do four. There we go, that should be enough. Okay. Okay. All right, now we gotta figure out, okay, so we have this thing back there. We want to have the Editor X or SpaceX kind of come on and then fill. All right, how do we wanna do that? There's a lot, guys, holy cow. All right, first we're gonna mask this. Get a rectangle, boom. Mask with shape. All right, cool. And what next? So I'm gonna duplicate this, boom. We're starting from here, nothing. And then once it gets waxed on, I gotta think about this in like steps. 
as in frames. And then below, gotta think, here's our tight, nope, and our nav. There we go, fill that in. All right, let's kind of find where we're at. Jira, much love, I appreciate that you watch what it is. <laughs> my silliness, <laughs> I'm glad you, you learned from it, my man. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of timed things here. So boom, boom. I do only want like, let's, we're just gonna do one second for all these things. Just so we can test. For this, we're gonna go here, boom. All right, let's see what we got. SpaceX, boom and it did not continue. So we have, aha, we're gonna do time. We found the culprit. Time, time, and we're gonna do one more time here. SpaceX, boom, white, blau. All right, close, there was something that happened that shouldn't have, and it was right here. That spit, ah, I know what it is, okay. So we have, I think it's this. There we go, Tur I turned off the outline, I basically just turned it off. No, my friend, this is not Sketch, this is Adobe XD. Um, and yeah, we're just trying some things. <laughs> trying some things. Uh, let's see. All right, so we have that. Now we can start adding some extra flair. So for example, we're gonna add a little bit of these white lines. Hmm. Make this centered. Drop this down here. And I'm not even sure of like what the purpose of these lines are. We're just trying different, you know, different things. Paste this up here. And I'm gonna bring one side Actually, I'm gonna bring this over here. And this over this way. Kind of making them center points, because essentially what they're gonna do is they're gonna animate from each side. So if we take a look at this, we get our nice little lines, they go away. Edit our SpaceX, boom. We have our learn more. <laughs> and there we go. So really basic stuff, guys. Um, if you want to know a little bit more how this stuff is, you guys can jump into our Discord. We have tons of not only resources there, but uh, I'm gonna start actually releasing the video or the finished products of each one of these live streams out for free. All you guys gotta do is sign up for um, the, uh, sign up with your email. And after each one of these sessions, every uh, twice, a, twice a week, or excuse me, twice a month, you guys can have access to these, kind of pop them open and you know dig around in them. But what we're gonna be doing since we're doing these challenges is we're gonna try to design these uh, in XD and then the next week in a month is we're going to essentially try to build these in Editor X, which is a website building platform. So if you guys wanna you know come join us, come hang out and uh, have some fun. Today was really long. Like we started at three, it is two hours later, so I really think, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, but that's about it. Um, I definitely hung up in there. I literally had no idea that this is what we were gonna, you know, this is was the plan. <laughs> this was definitely not the plan. Um, I had 
uh, you know, I thought we were gonna go a different way than the way that we went. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to rewatch the full episode, it is going to be up on YouTube. I thank you guys for uh, your patience and, you know, just, I messed up the link earlier today. I went live for some reason, it like automatically went live. So thank you guys, I appreciate it. Yes, we all love free stuff. So with that said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are, we are done. We are done for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, you just somehow stumbled upon my Instagram and that's where you came through. Definitely check out our Discord link in the bio. And uh, other than that, um, I will see you guys next time. Next week, we're going to be building this baby in Editor X. And I cannot wait to do that with you guys. Or even, um, if not next week, we're gonna try to make this in mobile so that when we do get into Editor X territory and making this into a real website, we're able to do everything both desktop and mobile together. And uh, that's it. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, <laughs> I'll be on my way to my car. I'll see you guys in a hot second. <laughs> thank you guys. I want to say thank you to Excellence, Fergie, Dave for hanging out, Jay. I I'm about to go get some pizza, dog. <laughs> thank you guys for hanging out. Greg, appreciate you hanging out as well. We have Cove and uh, Mr. MM. Thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you guys join the Discord, hang out with us, and uh, enjoy the rest of your Friday. I bid you adieu and take it easy. Peace. Let's go get some pizza, boss. <laughs> Enjoy your Friday. Hang out. Subscribe. And uh, I'll smell you next week. Give me 45 seconds. I will show you how you can create some of the hottest animated prototypes in your design career in just a few hours, not days. My name is Brennan Gross, I'm a designer, host, and content creator, as well as an Adobe partner, and welcome to my Awards Academy Masterclass on sexy animated prototypes, all in Adobe XD. Listen, forget about the 203 quarter hours it takes to whip up just the showcase version of your product in After Effects. Nine, in this course you will learn how to build and deliciously animate prototypes for the real world and in less time. Trust me, your product team will thank you later. <laughs> We're going to get into all the skills and knowledge required to create some of the works that you see here. I'll let you drool a little bit. Okay, enough drooling. In this course, we're gonna dive into all the fundamentals to advanced techniques you need to know in creating all the stunning animated prototypes you desire. We'll go over how to prototype in XD, the fundamentals of animation, timing, and easing, how to utilize mass, 3D transform, and other techniques to create some really cool animated effects, and I'll even show you how to showcase and add some flair to your work once your prototype is done. Throughout this course, you'll follow along with me to reverse engineer some of my own design projects and the files will be included in the course for you to reference. By the end of this course, you'll be able to create anything that you see on the internet or just desire to because you'll know how to use XD to its maximum capacity, think about motion and understand how to break down what inspires you so that you can create it. If this sounds of interest to you, I have one question for you. Why haven't you already signed up? This cute squirrel, Mr. Snuggles and I will be awaiting your enrollment. Join me and Mr. Snuggles in my awards Academy Masterclass today. We'll see you there. <gasps> Mr. Snuggles, be nice. Oh, <laughs>